it's Liv, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because as you saw from the title, we are going to be making stuffed crust pizza, which is something that I haven't had since going vegan. I used to eat it before I was vegan and I loved it. And I never really thought to try and make a vegan version, but that's what we are doing today. This video is in collaboration with Dea. Today we are going to be using their cutting board collection vegan cheese shreds and they actually have a new and improved recipe so you can tell which ones are the new recipe by this big red dot on the packaging and the new recipe is made with chickpeas which is so cool they have been working really hard to make a vegan cheese shred that melts and stretches so i'm so excited i've been a fan of the cutting board collection for a really long time and i absolutely love the new version so the flavors are pepper jack mozzarella and cheddar and we're going to be using a mix of them today and definitely go try to find it at your local grocery store it's super easy to find here which I love. I'm going to show you guys a super easy pizza dough recipe. And then we're also going to be making our own pizza sauce. I'm really excited, if you can't tell. Uh, that is everything for now. Let's get into the recipe. To make our own pizza dough, it's super easy. You need a cup of warm water and you can just feel with your finger, make sure it feels a little bit warmer than your finger temperature, if that makes sense. You just don't want it to be too hot. And then you can add one teaspoon of sugar and dissolve it into the water and then add one teaspoon of active dry yeast Give it a quick little mix and then you want to set it aside for five minutes so that it can kind of activate and get nice and foamy. And then meanwhile, you can add two cups of all-purpose flour into a mixer or food processor or just a bowl and add one teaspoon of salt and then just whisk that up or mix it up until it's combined. And then I just put the yeast mixture into a measuring cup so it was easier to pour and I added that to the flour mixture. This is obviously easiest if you have a food processor with the plastic blade or a stand mixer with a dough hook, but you can knead it by hand. It'll just take a little bit more elbow grease. <laughs> and then once you have your dough ball, you can just flour a surface and knead it a couple times. And then you just want to put it in a bowl and cover it with a tea towel for about 30 minutes and just make sure you put it somewhere nice and warm. So then while that is rising, we can make our sauce. So into a frying pan on medium heat, you want to add some oil and then add about half a cup of chopped onion and one clove of minced garlic. And then you can let that brown for a few minutes and add diced tomatoes. And then you can also add one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of Italian herbs. And then you just want to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. After that, you want to blend it. I didn't blend mine until it was perfectly smooth. I actually like a little bit of texture. So I just blended it for a few seconds to get rid of all of the huge chunks. And as you can see, it's just kind of like a finely minced texture. You of course can blend yours until it's perfectly smooth if that is what you prefer. So then after the 30 minutes, you can take your dough out of the bowl and flour a surface and just start kneading it and forming it. So this is the fun part, of course course. Uh, if you're not very skilled in this, it might be a bit of an adventure. And I actually tried this myself first. And then I got Greg to finish it for me because he used to work at Little Caesars when he was in high school. So he's kind of a pizza master. So you just want to stretch that out nice and big. And now we're going to stuff the crust. So I'm using a combination of the pepper jack shreds and the cheddar shreds just for, you know, a little bit of variety. So as you would expect, you just want to make a line of shreds all around the outside. If you made your pizza into a circle, it's the same kind of deal. You just want to make a strip along the edge and then start rolling and folding the edge over top of the cheese shreds to contain the soon to be melted cheese. This is an optional step, but I brushed some garlic oil on the top of mine just to make it a little bit more golden in the oven and give it a nice garlic flavor. You can use regular oil as well, totally up to you. And then you want to spread on your sauce. 
and then you can add your cheese so i'm obviously using the mozzarella shreds i used about the whole bag for this because i wanted lots of cheesy goodness on top and then you can add your toppings so we like to do toppings on top of the cheese and we just did some red onion and some vegan pepperoni and then last but not least i just sprinkled on some extra italian herbs which of course stuck to the oiled crust really nicely so then you want to preheat your oven to 425 Fahrenheit and bake it for between 12 to 15 minutes. You just want to keep an eye on it. Make sure you check the bottom so that it doesn't burn. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I put this on parchment paper. As you can see, you just want to do that to make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. And now I'm just going to play some music and let these final shots speak for themselves. tell you how satisfying it is to make your own dough make your own sauce and then have a cheese that actually melts like this honestly probably will be one of the best pizzas you've ever had the stuffed crust is really good some of the cheese leaked out a little bit but if you put some garlic oil or garlic butter on the outside it makes the outside crust part tastes like garlic bread which is amazing and it's just like cheesy and doughy all the good things you know so if you guys have been looking for a plant-based cheese shred that is gooey melty and stretchy definitely try the Daya cutting board collection make sure to check the packaging and see that it has the red dot in the top corner because that signifies that it is the new recipe and that is just their meltiest stretchiest best flavor best texture so far so if you guys want to try this definitely make sure you go pick up some daya cheese shreds thank you so much for watching thank you daya for sponsoring this video i love you guys so much if you make this pizza definitely take a photo and tag me on instagram i'm at it's live b and you can tag daya as well i will put their handle on the screen give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys next time bye